Hello, welcome to Undertale. Um, I am Tony. Uh, I finally put aside all of my bias and going to give this game a fair shot. For a lot of you who don't know, uh, the fandom for this game is super rampant and they hyped this game up to un astronomical levels to the point where I was just like, uh, I'm not going to play this because it's just so wildly popular. But enough of that, let's talk about intro. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Go humans! <laughs> they sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. That's kind of fucked up. Many years later, Mount Ebot, 21X, which I guess you can insert like any year, any teen year. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Oh yeah, this looks ominous. Of course your stupid ass would trip. <laughs> oh damn. So like, are they falling down the length of the mountain? Pretty sure that person's dead. Um, anyway, uh, the fandom for this game was just so rabid that it just, it just, it just was like, blah, to the point where I just wouldn't play it, but I figured I'd put away, or I figured I'd put away my bias and actually give it a fair shot, plus someone inspired me to, to play this, so I'm gonna give this a shot, and we'll see if this is really warranting of all the rampant fandom, or if full screen, hold the quit when HP zero, you lose, the C for in-game item, or control, and go with C. Z to enter, confirm, or extra shift. Sorry, I'm yawning. It is kind of late, but I wanted to actually get this out. Name the fallen human. Um, where's it at? Bruh. Yes, bruh is correct. <laughs> it's the fact that it's on the screen doing it. I can make a gif of that and use that. Um, anyway, um, all right. And this, I guess the fallen human was me. And I guess I landed on some flowers. Because let's be real. This motherfucker should be dead. Um, so Undertale is an RPG. So we're going to have to do some creative editing here. Because I'm probably going to edit out a lot of the random battles. I'll probably do like one random battle a new enemy and then just cut them out and just keep the bosses and other things. Hey, a flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Editor's note or I guess performer. I don't want to call myself that. Seems like I'm up to up my own ass. But I will not be doing silly voices because I find that shit obnoxious. And I don't have enough. I don't have the talent or the voice to supply for those large casts in this game. So you're just going to get my voice the way it is. Maybe some slight changes, but nothing silly. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Alright, man, maybe... <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm acidic, but something about this don't seem right. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Did... Nah, I don't think so. Something about this don't seem right. Ooh. Yeah, see, that face and the music says it all. This motherfucker's lying to me. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Hey, hey, let's not fuck off, Flowey. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the... Bullets! Oh, see, he called them bullets. He called them bullets. Uh, he connected. He corrected himself. Nope. Fuck you, Flowey. Fuck you. What you gonna do? Oh, shit. That's... You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh. Oh. Um. Well, I 
was right. This guy's an asshole. Guess I'm gonna die now. What? What happened? Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Second Maui. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. That's not weird or anything. Also, is she a cow or a goat? I'm gonna say she's a goat. The greatest of all time! No, that's only Muhammad Ali. Um, you are the first human to come down here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Sweet. This way! Alright then. I mean, I know I, as a kid I was told to never talk to strangers, but I mean, what am I gonna do? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. So that's where that shit came from, this determination shit. So let's say we're at the end. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Call me Bruh, goddammit. <laughs> Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Fuck. <laughs> Ancient fuses between diversions and door keys. That's a, that's a really creative way of putting what puzzles are. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. What does that fucking even mean? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Ooh, wisdom. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press E to read the signs. What? I... <laughs> Stay on the path. Yeah, okay. I think I think I think now I could be wrong, but I think that's one of the switches I have to flip. So we gonna flip this. Mm, flip that motherfucker. Oh, that. So this one, not this one. Yeah, I got that shit. I'm splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. Ah, this was, this didn't even work. I was going to be an asshole flipping anyway. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I don't want to talk to the dummy. But yeah, you can beat this entire game without fighting anybody, which I, I think I'm gonna try and do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. You encountered the dummy. Dummy attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You're the apple of my eye. Now, see, that would be adorable, but you rhymed the I with I, so that's kind of a... Okay, so, okay. Oh, oh, the dummy doesn't talk. Okay, I was about to be like, uh, what? <laughs> dummy stands around absentmindedly. Talk to the dummy, then? You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! <laughs> Okay. Ah, very good. You are very good. I wonder what would happen if I punched the dummy. Oh. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Uh, uh, was that the puzzle? Frog, it attacks you. Well, I did say I wasn't going to fight anybody, so let's see what I can do. Check, compliment, threat. You know what? I'm going to pay it a compliment. I'm going to pay it a compliment see what happens. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> her, fa her face, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That's priceless. <laughs> I got to stop looking. I got to stop looking at her. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep laughing. It was priceless. What was it say? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. What? What does that even mean? This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, jeez. 
I guess it's a good thing she's doing this for me because I'm pretty sure I would have fucked this up and then got murdered. And then she would be indirectly responsible for getting a child killed. My ambiguously gendered child. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Yeah, I mean, spice. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh, damn, she took off. She, she straight just left my ass here. Are the music's getting all serious? Beat kind of goes, though. I'm going to stop, so... I'm pretty sure someone has freestyled to this beat already, though. I, I'm 100% sure someone has done this. Damn, that's a long-ass walk. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was really behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to go explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. How the fuck do they have reception down here? And is it Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, or, or AT&T? Because if it's Verizon, I'm not going to make any calls because uh, that shit's expensive. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I hope she doesn't really expect me to wait here because I'm not. I have to. I have to. Huh? Oh, heh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. I mean, could I, though? I mean, I guess I, she doesn't want, like, a scandal or anything. Because I wonder if... No, I'm not going to... Let's call her mom. See what happens. She'll probably love that shit. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose... Would that make you happy to call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. I don't know about you, but when you were a kid, did you ever accidentally call any of your teachers mom? I did that once and the kids were just not let up. Asshole, it was an honest mistake. Darling, this is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. He <laughs> he. I was hoping that she would get pissed that I would keep calling her in such a short span. But ah, oh, damn it, I did the same thing again. Uh, no, no, just shut up. I don't. Uh, uh, salutations. Oh, is that enough? Oh, she says some. She says different shit. I'm not gonna spend the whole episode doing this. Just one more. We're gonna ask her about yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Uh, that, yeah, that was really uninformative. She was right. Oh shit, she calling me already? Does she know I left the room? Hey, hey y'all, hey, be chill. No one tell her I left that fucking room, okay? Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? No. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Click, what's Froggit say? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human ribbon. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. I did say I, did, I want to go through this without hurting anybody if possible. So, Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Yes. Okay. Oh, speaking of which. Froggit, hop close. Well, then um, let's threaten this one. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. What, what, oh, okay. Froggy seems reluctant to fight you. Well, then we'll give him some mercy. Alright, cool. I got the shit down now. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Yes. You took a piece of candy. Can I take... What? You took more candy. How disgusting. Oh, jeez. God, made me feel like an asshole right now, so I guess I'm not gonna take any more candy. God damn, that guilt chips you hard. So this is what I'm gonna do. Since we've already seen Froggit in all its glory, I'm probably gonna skip over the rest of the Froggit battles. If I run into a new enemy, we'll do that. But until then, we'll skip this. We'll skip this shit. So 
the editing might be kind of weird of me skipping shit or cutting shit out like right in the middle of things. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, shit. We're gonna go to the right still. To the right. To the right. Now dip, baby. Damn it. Holla me. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Cinnamon all day. Jesus. Shit. Let me take a step. Damn, stop sweating me, lady. Let me live my life. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Okay. What's to say? Three out of four great rocks recommend you push them. Well then. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Please don't step on the leaves. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Look, look, say some shit. Now what? Say something. Do something. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is new. Wimson approached meekly. <laughs> you raise your arms and wiggle your fingers. Wimson freaks out. I can't handle this. Oh, shit. I almost ran into that. Wimson was hyperventilating. Oh, now I feel bad. Let's um, let's console it. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. I'm a dick. All right, let's. Uh, th God damn it! All right. All right, we got this shit now. Fuck! Oh, I get it now. All right, so I'm an idiot, and they mean by not stepping on the leaves, don't step on the tiles above the leaves. So we just have to not do that. And we are all gravy, son. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Yeah, and I'm still stepping on the leaves. What are you going to do? Fight me. Ah, shit. Mold small block the way. Um... You wiggle your hips. Small, small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of sound is scorch? That sounds like some sounds that you would have during intercourse. Small, small waits pensively. Um, let's imitate it. You lie immobile with small, small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh... I win. Okay. God damn it. All right, bro. Starting to feel a little something like this is kind of annoying. All right, we can walk across there and then. All right, cool. I did it. All right, we back pushing these rocks. Damn it. How do I miss a rock? I'm stupid. What the fuck? Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over there? Okay, just for you. Oh, I get it. Three out of four rocks wants you to... <laughs> this fucking game. Hey, did he just call me pumpkin? That's something I probably sarcastically call my mom. Hmm, you want me to move some more? Well, yeah, just move over to the right. Alrighty, how's this? You son of a bitch. Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Yeah, okay. I think I got it. All right. Yeah, yeah there you go. Thanks, man. This yes, I wanted you to stay there, ass clown. Give me a real workout. I'll sit your ass down somewhere. Hey. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese... It fills you with determination. Oh, it's actually Squeaks. I wonder if I can just give it to him. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ew. Is that a ghost? Is that a sleeping ghost? 
Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly. Oh my god. <laughs> Pretending to be asleep. So it's not soaring, it's literally saying Z. Okay. Nah, this feels like a trick. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to just move it with force. That's what this music makes me feel like doing. Here comes Naps to Bluke. Uh, when in doubt, flirt with it. I just weigh you down. Oh, oh, geez. Is it crying? Is Am I fighting a depressed ghost? All right, well, that doesn't work. So let's try, uh, let's try cheering it on. You gave Naps to Bluke a patient smile. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. <laughs> It's just a little bit better. Maybe that worked out. You told Nash and Luke a little joke. <laughs> oh, damn it. Cheering seems to have improved Nash and Luke's mood again. Oh, so all right. We'll just keep cheering it on. Nash and Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blue. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> that group Luke, that Luke eagerly awaits your response. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, that was, that was different. Okay. Let's see what's up here. This looks plot related, so. What the hell? Spider bake sale, all proceeds go to real spiders. Oh, I gotta give it the spiders. Leave 18G. I don't have 18G. Sorry. What about this? Oh, yeah, I can leave that. So spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. What in the fuck? <laughs> How random is this game? <laughs> Dapper Bluke. I'm still tripping off of Dapper Bluke. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Now I got it. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. My donuts made of spiders. Okay. Favorite rivets. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Uh, I wonder if I skip through his shit what he would say. Maybe rivet I heard using F4 can have, well, I have full screen, it's cool. I'm good, I got it, man. What does F4 stand for? Four frogs? From now on, F4 is now going to be four frogs for me. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks, Undertale. I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Rivet. Rivet, Rivet. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now, Monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. No, I did not know that. That's good info. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It's be That's very helpful. I just said that. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't Yellow. Hmm. Oh, she's calling me again. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. That's that's RPG advice in, in general. There is just one switch. I don't see no switches. Oh geez, what is a a Migo sop called a what's a Migo sop? Oh, I can spare somebody. Mmm, cha cha cha. Is he? Did. Did he just, did he just do the wave on me? Just, uh, let me talk to this dude. Aya. Yeah, no, he's totally dancing down there. All right, I'm gonna just leave him be then. You get the hell on. <laughs> God damn this game. Oh, um, mm -hmm. oh snap, ah, sweet. 
I'm baller at this. She, she could have left me by myself. I'm baller at this shit. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. Hit the switch. Press it. Well, yeah, of course. Now I gotta press. Okay. Hit the switch. Press it. Okay. Okay. A looks drew near. Okay, so I can't spare him first. Uh, I ain't gonna pick on this dude. He's kind of cute. Finally, someone gets it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, ah! Looks is staring right through you. Can I spare me? Okay, cool. So cool, I just don't pick on him and then he'll go the fuck off somewhere. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Okay, then. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Now, where the fuck is a blue switch at? All right, well, I feel spectacularly at that. And I know none of these, oh, actually. It's a switch, press it. Yes. What? Um. All right. Um. Damn it. So that doesn't do anything. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, I get it because the perspective. Okay, so. Okay, I. Yeah. SMRT. SMRT. Yeah, I, 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 I got that. Yeah, thank you. If you can read this, press the red switch. There's the red switch. Yay. It's a switch. Press it. Watch this shit be some sort of trick. Oh, I guess not. All right then. That was weird. Okay. If you can read this, press the green switch. So which pillar is this one behind? Ah, damn it. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. I'm good at this. I'm, I'm an Undertale master. This looks plot related, so we're going to take the right first. Ha! Rivet, rivet. Just between you and me... I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Rivet. That's kind of sad, okay? Whoa, shit. Hey, a knife. You found the toy knife. Well, since I'm not planning on fighting anybody, I'm not gonna use it, so. Oh, well, at least I got a toy knife in the back pocket. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. I, I'm I'm literally right right down there. <laughs> How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? A little bit. There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. The way she talks is weird. Like, the way that... Anyway. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Okay. Say yes. Do you smell that? Mm. Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Hey, I'm not turning down any sort of pie. Well, maybe pumpkin pie. I'm not. I'm not big on that. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Ooh. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. This is it. This is lit. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Watch she watch she turn out to be like some sort of serial killer or something. <laughs> Is something burning? Oh, make yourself at home. I, I am. I checked out this room and shit. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> uh, what's this? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh man. Now I feel bad about that serial killer thing because. A box of kids shoes in disparity of sizes. Because she seems like she's super lonely. Oh, the music changes. Can I actually take a, go to sleep? Oh, I could. Oh, she left the pie on the floor? Oh, yeah, now I feel really bad about that serial killer remark. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Yeah, because she seems like she's super, super damn lonely. So, um, let's see what's in this room. 
It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh, boo! <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Yeah, she's probably super lonely. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flying plants with their brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous! That, that song might be for some of y'all time. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Uh, okay. Ah, this cactus is truly the most tsunami of plants. Really? Or sundary, I said, I, whatever. They snuck a Mimi in this game. Or meme, I should say. I love May Mays. Room under renovations. Alright, that's what the bodies are. Alright, I all right, I'll stop the tutorials of undercover serial killer type thing. She actually seems like a pretty sweet person, so that's mm, then there's the basement. What's in the basement? What's in the basement? Oh shit. I think you should play upstairs instead. What is she trying to hide? What are you trying to hide? What is what are you what are you hiding? I wonder you know what? I wonder if I can sleep down there since she only caught me one time. It is dangerous to play here. Okay, she's not gonna let me go. So something's down there. Now I'm suspicious again. What are you hiding, Torio? What's in the box? Up already, I see. Well, you know that. I was just in the fucking basement twice. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. That doesn't surprise me at all. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. It, ho Hello, can this game hear me? Still. <laughs> Her face, though. It's, it's very, I'm sorry. It's very funny to me. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Uh back to being suspicious. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh You know what I'm gonna I'm gonna play cater. I'm gonna play cater just a little bit. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly. Just kidding, snails don't talk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything. Okay, I'd, I'd like to go now. Yeah, how do I exit the ruins? I had to do something. Stay here. Maybe that distracts her enough so I can go to the basement and she won't realize I'm gone. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Well, fucking take that shit. Grab a Snickers. Snickers are the best when they're fresh out of the freezer. That's, that's a pro tip from your boy. Put your Snickers in the freezer. You'll you'll never go back. This is something. There's something white. There's something white fur stuck in the. Oh, there's some white fur stuck in the drain. Uh, it's getting late. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Instead of gingerbread men. The size of the pie intimidates you. Too much for you to eat it. We will take another slice though. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. So this. I didn't know she know she knew fire magic. Okay, what's these books are like? It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth. We walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As our great king is, as, as great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Wow. Alright, well now that she's distracted somewhere, I'm gonna just totally like sneak out in the basement. Oh. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Oh I gotta I take it I'm not she no one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Who, who the hell are you? Ain't my mama? 
won't tell me to go upstairs. Plus, I think that's probably my way out, so I kind of don't want her to destroy that. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Oh, she, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. You don't talk to me like that. You ain't gonna talk to me like that, though. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh, see, hold on. See, now you, now you starting to call my bluff and whatnot. So I have to sit up this because I feel like I'm have to just slap her around a little bit. You want to leave so badly? Yes. Yeah, yes, I do. Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Uh, uh, um. Oh. Torio blocks the way. Um. How about we talk this out, Lady, uh, Torio Tage knows best for you. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. How about we, oh, ow. How about we talk this out? Okay, we're going to talk this out. We're going to talk this out. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, oh okay, oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Um, uh, that was different. She actually said something, so, ow, maybe that worked. Ah, damn it. All right. Um, okay, so this, okay, this seems to be working, so maybe I just sh show mercy and she won't do anything. Um, I gotta eat that. Let's eat the spider donut. Sweet, okay. Whoa, what the? Oh, skillful. Skillful. All right. Toriel's acting aloof. Okay, yeah, the mercy thing seems to be working, so we'll just, we'll do that. Ah, oh, damn it, the last one got me. <laughs> yeah, question mark. All right, so apparently just me refusing to fight her, she'll probably just be like, no, I want to do this. What are you doing? Um... I'm doing what you instructed me to do and not fight. Just trying to talk it out, but you don't want to talk, so. Attack or run away. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, ah, damn it. All right. Well, she said. So maybe. Okay. <laughs> the little heart with legs. That is right. Go upstairs. Oh. Okay. So that didn't work, but she. She. she what the. Can I. Why can't I. Okay, um, I wanted to eat the monster candy because I'm low on health. Okay, all right. No, don't, don't hug me. Leave me alone. Damn it. Okay. All right, um, I guess, I guess I have to fight her. Hopefully I won't, like, kill her in one hit or something. I bet you that red zone does double damage or something. Oh, shit. All right, um. I'm trying to get to that red zone. I feel like that's going to do like more damage because it's smaller and harder to hit. Damn it. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I don't think that made much of a difference. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Um. Ah, crap. Maybe I didn't hit it all the way. And the middle part seems like it's too easy to hit, so I'm pretty sure I'm, that you probably that probably doesn't make a difference. What is that? Oh no! Oh the ah! Okay, all right. Toyo takes a deep breath. Okay. Oh, that did the damage. Okay, so no, I was wrong. The middle does the joint, the gym jams, the gyms, the jams. Toyo prepares a magic attack. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Just move out the way, Toriel. Damn. No. Just move out the way, Toriel. Move out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Uh, uh. Ah, all right. I hope it doesn't end up with me having to kill her and then I learn my lesson to not kill anybody else because that's really effing depressing. You know? But I, I talking to her doesn't help. And she did tell me to fight or run and I already tried running and that didn't work so I'm just going to keep 
pounding away at her. Oh. Uh, let's see. I probably should equip that toy knife, even though I thought I would not need it. Uh, eat the pie. Getting low on health there. That one I can dodge easily. I see it right through you, Toriel. Uh, uh, uh. And then take that. All right, well, we're gonna equip the toy knife just to make this go a little bit faster. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah, that hurt. I'm gonna lose this battle because I don't know what I'm doing. No, I, I don't wanna fight you. Can you talk to me yet? Uh, can I spare her yet? All right, we'll, we'll try that. Oh uh, yeah, she's determined to. Uh, if this forces me to kill her, I'm gonna be really upset about this. What the no! This game promised me that I didn't have to kill anybody. I'm gonna, no, screw this. No, I'm gonna, time out. Be right back.